Hello, everybody. Hope you're all doing great. We are back. We are back, man. Going back for another great one fallow, hopefully. Hope you've all been doing good. Jonathan, thank you for the super sticker, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those that were uh, asking, yes, we did end up getting a great one yesterday. Now we're going for another one today, hopefully. You need advice? What advice do you need, Evident? Oh, yes, it's, oh my God. Do I need diamonds to shoot down solo zones? You don't need them, but it does help to have some diamonds stacked if you want to shoot down solo zones. It'll make it faster. Nice, flat pop. Thoughts on Hunt Club Beta? I like it. I think it's a good thing. It's a cool little feature. In fact, we could go ahead and do a couple of our weekly ones right here. Boom, boom. Nothing there. I think that's only one of the groups, though. Hey, Gunslinger, how's it going, dude? Hope you're doing good. There we go. Almost didn't see that one. I believe in you, Brandon. You got this, man. Nice, Jeremy. I hope you end up uh, liking it, dude. Hope you ended up liking it. I swear, sometimes I can't speak. We just started, and I'm already messing up sentences. I, I just need to pace myself. You know, I think that's what it is, honestly. I think I just talk way too quickly. I think that's what it is, man. Yeah, XS Quattro, it was last night. Can I get noticed? Just say hi. You don't have to ask to get noticed. Just, you know, put like a normal message in chat. Much higher chance of me uh, acknowledging that than asking if you can get noticed. Just for anybody in the future, you know. You're more likely to get noticed if you don't ask to be noticed. Whoa, what the? That's a piebald already! <laughs> We got a piebald. Also, guys, I did kill about 14 fallow deer earlier today. And then I was like, ah, I'll wait till the stream. So we've got ourselves a piebald. Tiny, though. Jonathan, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Been a fan for a long time. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. That is awesome, man. Hope you've been doing good. Hope you've been doing real good. Still a pie? Yep, still a pie regardless. Might have been non-vital organ. Is the membership monthly payment? Yes, it is. Uh, all memberships are a monthly thing. Ooh, nice flat pop. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. Yeah, I messed it up. It is what it is. It was a small feller anyway. It's just a small dude. Still cool, though. Still really cool. Love this pattern for the piebald. Absolutely love it. Oh yeah, the pies are great. They definitely are. What was the combo for Great 143? It was a painted uh, typical rack. Absolutely stunning, man. My favorite so far. It's pretty much everything I could have ever wanted in a uh, fallow deer. Now we just got to get like the fabled mocha and I'll be happy. I just need the fabled mocha and then at least one blade rack. 
we can get that, then we might be able to start doing some other grinds a little bit more. You know, guys, recently, like, seeing a lot of people posting Great One Moose has kind of got me wanting to go back to Moose. The thing is, like, Moose are so uncooperative for me. I just can never get the Moose to cooperate, so I don't know if we'll ever do it, but I want to. Like, I'm really considering eventually going back to Moose because I, I do still want to get a fabled birch. I also really badly want to get uh, a typical rack. Um, what do you mean, Blazer Man? Are you talking about, like, if you haven't picked up any of them or if you've missed maybe one or two? Missing a couple here and there is not going to ruin your grind. It's just if you were to leave everything that it would have some negative effects. Kill count, 20 so far. Killed about 12 of them off stream, I think, and then the rest have been on stream. Or was it 14? 12 or 14. And the rest of them have been on stream. Have you done a moose grind on Yukon? I haven't. I have not. Considering it, though. Definitely considering it, because I've seen that whenever whenever people really commit to a Yukon grind and get it, like, managed down, uh, it's actually a pretty insane grind. The thing about Yukon is it takes a while to manage it down because of the river. So we'll see. We shall see. Any grind but with controller. Nah, nah, not gonna happen. <laughs> I like to have fun with my grinds. And I suck with controllers, so it wouldn't be fun for me. That's for sure. I am terrible with controller. Me playing with a controller would be like having one hand tied behind my back and trying to play with keyboard and mouse like that. That's what it would be like. <laughs> Um, I recently did a live stream with Lady uh, Buchanan. I recently did a stream with Lady, if you missed it. Um, I did a video with her recently as well, but definitely more stuff in the future. Definitely more stuff in the future, for sure. There's a five. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Smoked him. Hey, Flat Pop, how's it going, man? Hey, Zachy. Also, guys, just a heads up. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter stream than normal. It's only going to be about two hours. Because we're going to be doing a stream on the second channel as well with uh, Brobra and possibly my friend Kevin. So we shall see. It should be fun regardless, though. That's a diamond. Diamond number one of the day. What is my second channel's name? It's called uh, Scarecrow Uncut. Two hour great one? Could you imagine? Could you imagine if we did? That'd be amazing. I'd love that. That would honestly be great.
There we go. There is the uh, second channel linked in the chat. No, Ziggy, I don't. 700 kills in grind number two, 30 diamonds, no rares. Unfortunate you haven't got any rares, man, but decent bit of diamonds. Uh, Mike, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Why am I grinding fallow when I have five? I mean, to be fair, I've got 27 whitetail. I just grind whichever one I'm enjoying the most. The thing about great ones is there's so many different combinations that you can get. So, if you enjoy great one grinding to the extent that I do, if you don't have every possible combination, you're still going to have a reason to grind. And for me with fallow deer, there's so many fur and rat combinations that I don't have that I really want. And so I'm going to keep grinding off and on until I get them all. It's the same with whitetail. With oh whitetail deer, oh that actually might be a diamond right there. That thing's wide. But anyway, with whitetail deer, they only have six different rack variations, right? But because I don't have all of them, I'm still missing the typical rack. I continue grinding them. I mean, we've got 27 whitetail and a ton of them are duplicates of each other. Like they just look the same, you know? But then every so once, ever so often you end up getting a really unique one and it makes it all worth it. That's how it is for me at least. If I don't have every single possible combination, I, I don't feel accomplished. Like, I feel like there's still more for me to chase after if I don't have it all. Aside from bears and, and, uh, and, uh, moose. <laughs> and bears and moose, they're the, they're the ones where I, there's no way that I'm going to get everything. There, there's just no way. I'll never get every combination for those ones. It is what it is, though, you know? If I can get one bear and, like, one or two more moose, I'll be happy. But as far as, uh, whitetail and fallow, I gotta have them all. Boom. So many trolls and, uh, one diamond and then a few fours that were big. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? We were just talking about that, actually, Zachy. We were just mentioning that one of these days I might have to pick up a uh, Yukon grind to switch it up a little bit. And also, because I've seen that when you can, I've seen a lot of people like, uh, what's it called? Get the Yukon grind to a good point. And whenever they do, it looks like it's a really good grind, but it takes longer to get it to a good point. So, I don't know. We'll probably try doing it. We'll probably try doing a Yukon Moose grind at some point. Who knows? Maybe I'll even go back to Rev and just try to fix my zones. Like, I don't understand what's wrong with my Rev. All my Moose just kind of scattered and disappeared. I'm wondering if I should just go through and delete a bunch of zones, try to get them to go to better spots. I don't know. We will have to see. What are you hunting for? I just joined. Right now we're hunting for fallow deer. Chasing after the fallow deer great one. When should you kill diamonds if you're doing HM? Whenever the rest of your map is managed down to low levels. Yes, Alex, I did. We need a Call of the Wild mobile. There used to be one, and nobody played it, so they scrapped it. There did used to be one, though. But nobody liked it, so they just stopped developing it. But it used to be a thing. Can missing zones affect my spawns? I mean, it shouldn't affect what your respawns are going to come back as. It shouldn't affect them at all.
Yeah, are you talking about uh, Jerk Zaki? Because that's who I was referencing as well. He has had an absurd amount of Moose Great Ones. All from Yukon for the most part. I think he's got others as well, but I'm pretty sure most of them are from Yukon, which is kind of crazy. Mike, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Congrats to uh, Preston. You just got gifted that membership. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. He pulled eight off of Yukon. Oh my gosh. That's crazy, man. We got one buck there. How do you go fully prone on PC? Um, I don't remember the original keybind because I rebound mine. I typically go through and rebind everything to like the keys that I'm used to. Oh, we got an extra here. We got an extra buck here than normal. One extra deer, I tell you. Nothing there. What devices can you play Call of the Wild on? Um, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Believe that's it. Okay, so Z is the default key then? Alright. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I rebound mine to X. You should do a fallow grind on Australia. I probably will eventually. The way that I've said we're going to do it is, and this isn't set in stone, it's just what I'm probably going to end up doing, is we'll grind until we get a Fabled Mocha and at least one of the Sawblade Rack ones off of Tiabaroa. And then we're going to have to go back to the Bear Grind for a bit, see if we can pull anything out of that, and then maybe we'll go back and forth between Bear and Moose, maybe even go alternating between Bear, Moose, Fallow. But yeah, after we get done with the Tiawaroa grinding, we got to go back to bears for a bit and potentially moose. And then, after we get our bear, hopefully, unless it takes over 10,000 kills, then I don't know if I want to. But we're going to try and get our bear and maybe a moose. And then, we might start up the uh, Australia fallow grind. I don't know. We're thinking, like, super far ahead right now, so... Could change, but that's kind of what I'm thinking at the moment, is that we might do it like that. Hey, hey, how's it going, dude? Hope you're doing good, man. Yeah, that seems about right, Sari. They they love to just they love to just roll up and take over my tent like gosh. Can't can't ever have a tent to myself. I can't. It's not possible. Could you move the bear grind maybe better RNG? The thing is, the only alternative is Mississippi because New England is garbage for bears. And so is Leighton. They can be literally all over the map. Uh, Mississippi is a bit more condensed, but the problem is the gators. And I don't know. kind of feel like just continuing to rotate on our super efficient zones on SRP. And just like tough it out till we get it. Oh, hey. Nice four there.
Beautiful. You have a diamond level four. Yes, I've got a couple of them. They're pretty cool. I'm glad they can make it at four. We're now 37 kills into the grind. Hey, Will, how's it going, man? How you doing? Thank you, Alex. It was insane. Like, I just, I can't believe we got such a crazy combo. You're calling it sub 100 kill grind? Maybe, Doan. We have not had a sub 100 kill grind yet. My shortest was 349. Maybe if we're lucky, we can get that sub 100 kill grind. Simon, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Uh, can the Great One Moose still have the normal fur types? No, they got rid of that. They can only have the fabled fur types now. Which, in my opinion, it's a good thing. I'm glad they can't be uh, common anymore. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. Thank you once again for the super chat, though. Really appreciate it. All right, so it's just that one here this time. Why are fallow great ones so easy? Uh, nobody really knows the exact reasoning, right? Like the moose is actually just as quick in terms of spawn rate. Like, we see Moose Great Ones popping up in 500 kills all the time. Most Moose Great Ones pop within 1500. Obviously, there's outliers, there are exceptions that take much longer. But on average, the Moose is the quickest species to give grinds. Or, it's the most common to give a grind under 1500. Fallow are pretty much identical, uh, but the big difference is it's really easy to hunt Fallow fast. So you can kill like 400 fallow in a day if you're really good with your setup. With moose, you'd be lucky to get 200, maybe 300 at the most in a day, uh, spending the same amount of time. You can pretty much just kill double the amount of fallow deer as you can moose. Unless you have like a crazy efficient moose setup. So it makes it seem like the fallow deer are easier when in reality they're pretty much the same as moose. They're basically the same. It's just that moose are harder to get a lot of them down quickly. Jeez, Clayju, that's crazy, man. That is really unfortunate. Wonder why it's being so rough for you. Hey, dynamic. What was my most recent combo? It was a fabled painted with the uh, typical rack, also known as big rack. Nice, Silas. That's awesome. Yo, count 40. 40 on the dot. Nice, Red Reaper. Got my first great one. It was on a map I wasn't grinding. That's hilarious, Drake. That's like, that's probably like the craziest way to get one. That's just wild.
Just shot a Mela Axis Deer. Nice. That is awesome. I haven't seen a rare Axis Deer in ages. Do I use the 300? Yes, I do. I use the 300 for anything that isn't a diamond or rare. This guy right here. 300 treatment. Boom. Smoked him. What are you doing? Don't spook off, bro. Not cool, man. Not cool at all. Thank you, Brantley. Oh, geez, C and E. That's crazy, dude. Um. Are you sure you're a thousand in? Because one diamond in a thousand kills is practically unheard of. Um, are you sure you're not miscounting? That seems kind of crazy to go a thousand without a diamond. Now, if it was Black Bear, I could see that being a thing, but with Fallow? Fallow, like, even when you're not herd managing, you usually give a diamond at least every 100 kills. Maybe like 500. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit more believable of like a time frame you could go without a diamond, but that's still really unlucky, man. Oh, you have three trolls. Okay, that, that makes more sense then. That's unfortunate, man. Just keep on grinding. Maybe try like out of every zone, prioritize shooting the biggest bucks first. That way you're always getting like the big ones taken down before the small ones. I've seen that help with increasing the amount of diamonds you get. I've done that before on grinds that I didn't want to like do full herd management on. Imagine if there was a troll great one. I'm glad there isn't. That would suck, honestly. That would really suck. I don't remember off the top of my head, uh, Cooper. I haven't used one in ages. Nice, Casey. That's awesome. Congrats. Congrats. Spoonrack is basically a troll at this point. Ah, it definitely is the most common one. Definitely the most common great one to get. Do 14 chocolate. Let's check over here, see if we got any stragglers. Hoping for a painted spoon rack. I mean, if it was painted, I wouldn't be too upset. Not going to lie. If it's painted, I wouldn't be too upset. I'd be okay with that. Yeah, nothing here. Okay. There's a zone or two. I'm thinking about maybe re-implementing at some point. We'll see. That's the solo. Nothing has been in this zone in a little bit. Six sixty in, hoping for a spoon. I mean, soon. Hey, now that you've done that, you're gonna jinx yourself and get a spoon rack. It's gonna happen. It's happening.
Uh, it's currently 624, Simon. Currently 624 p.m. There's two right there. Boom. Nice, Thunder. That's awesome. 1393 kills into Fallow. No HM is taking forever. You'll get it eventually, man. My last grind was 2155, so... Just keep on, keep on going. You got this, man. No, I'm not going to play Call of the Wild on the second channel. It'll be uh, Ground Branch. But if you guys are into other games that are different than what we do here on the main channel, check out the second channel. We're going to be playing Ground Branch with Brobra and potentially Kevin as well. I don't know. Not sure if he's uh, feeling up to it or not. It's because in Call of the Wild, a lot of people go based on visual size, Zachy, not score. Just the visual size of it. Like, uh, with Moose, people call the, like, big non-tip, they call that the big rack. Even though its score is lower than quad paddle. And for the Fallow, the big rack looks the biggest out of all of them, even though it doesn't score as high. I think that's primarily because the scoring goes off of the palm size a lot, and that one's got less palmation than the spoon rack does. Spoon rack is just nothing but palmation. <laughs> Man, our fallow are acting weird, dude. I don't know how to feel about this. They're being strange. What's up with this? Where's all of our males? So weird. They're acting so strange. No males back here again. All right. Well, I guess we're just going to have to go without males this time. Possible great one. I don't know. I don't know. Really feeling like I just need to up the kill count per uh, per run, just a little bit. Make things a bit more consistent with getting all the respawns back. We'll see. Yes, I did twice, uh, Blazer Man. I had done it twice, and it still didn't change anything. Thinking about shooting the three from over here, if we can get him to show up. Because I've got a three over there. Um, we could totally pop him. I think it's that one right there. We will think about it. We'll think about it. Oh, hey. What the? Now our deer are back. What is... <laughs> Makes no sense, man. They just pop up out of nowhere. <laughs> That's wild. Oh, wow, Toasty. That's going to be an interesting grind, man. Dude, what were these deer doing? They disappeared for like two resets in a row. I even reset the time like four times. They didn't show up. I kill the ones across from them and then just reset the time trying to see if another herd was there. And then boom, they're there. Silly little fallow playing tricks on me. Nice dynamic. I've tried doing that before and it did not work well for me. Unfortunately. I probably just did it wrong, but yeah, I couldn't get it to work. Nice, Blitz. It's a fun game. It's a fun game for sure.
Did you buy the 22250 for the kangaroos? Um, if your only reason for buying it is for the kangaroos, um, I'd say it's probably better suited for other animals, but it's really fun on kangaroos. However, it's such a cheap rifle that I'd say there's nothing to lose, really. I would recommend getting it just for the fact that it's a fun gun. What's my average one run kill count? Between seven and 10. Depends on the run. We've got six so far on this run. Nothing there. Yeah, TTK, we hit 120k a few days ago. I can't remember when it was, but I know it was a couple days ago. We're actually getting really close to 121k. We're at 120,795 at the moment. We're getting there. Getting super, super close to 121. I don't 100% know, um, or no, I thought you were saying great ones. No, it doesn't affect rares, uh, Mickey boy. It does not affect rares at all. Rares are the one thing that is 100% random in this game. At least as far as we know. There's suspicions that great ones might also be 100% random, but then there's also the people that believe that it affects them a little bit. But rares are something we know for a fact does not get affected. Okay, so we killed about eight that run. Not bad. Definitely not bad. Hey, Zach, how's it going? I'm doing good. Doing really good, especially after yesterday's great one. That thing was just incredible. We ended up getting like one of my favorite combos of all time. Gotta be the most excited I've been to see a great one fallow. Now we still just got to go for that blade rack and that fabled mocha. What is the best map for the moose great one? Medved and Revon Tuli are both really, really good. Can't really go wrong with either of those. Uh, Yukon is decent, but not as good. And then Layton and... What's it called? Layton and... New England are kind of just not great for moose. Well, I guess Leighton is tolerable if you do it right, but... New England? No, no, no. Never want to go to New England to grind them. Oh, no, Zach. That's not good, getting a defective one. Layton's not bad because it's only half the map. True. True. That is very true. That's just wild to me, Zachy. How is that more consistent than your fallow deer? That's crazy. Fallow deer have been mad consistent for me. Like, once I've got the map managed down... Even though they don't show up at the same zones every run, they never leave the zones that I'm shooting. They kind of just like swap out between all the zones I'm hunting. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that, Drake. Sorry to hear that, dude. It happens, man. Yeah, same, Ender. Though I think what they were going for is the fact that there was three different Great One species on there. I think that's what they meant. But that's just... It doesn't make it a good grind map. That just means there's lots of animals to grind if you'd like.
There we go. You think you will ever get to 1 million subs? Maybe. It's hard to say. Really hard to say, man. Thing is, like, uh... Hunting game content creators don't really ever make it to, like, a million subs. Because it's just not a super, like, widely popular genre. You know, it's a more niched down genre. That has a more, like, tight, hardcore community. You know, there's, you know, tens of thousands of people that play hunting games. But most of the big YouTubers, they play games where there's hundreds of thousands of players for that genre. Yeah, I think Flinter is the biggest uh, channel that only does hunting-related stuff for the most part. Or hunting game-related things. Um, Fooster has done hunting stuff in the past, but he's not an exclusively hunting game channel. He does a lot of stuff. In fact, he doesn't even really play Call of the Wild anymore. But yeah, Flinter's channel is like the biggest... Actually, in terms of view count, Kendall Gray, he does the best for, uh, Call of the Wild content. Kendall just kills it with his videos. Like, they get hundreds of thousands of views. It's insane. But to be fair, like, he is a master with the editing. I don't know if he edits his own videos or if he's got an editor, but... I can see why, uh, why his videos are so popular. They're very well made. And he's doing stuff that other Call of the Wild creators aren't doing. Hey, Kevin, how's it going, man? How you doing? Are you going to be uh, down to jump on and play Ground Branch later? I know you were saying it was like a, it was a maybe. He does have an editor? Got you. Okay. I've thought about one of these days maybe just having a couple videos done by an editor. Like funny moments videos because I just, I, I don't have the time to go through like hours and hours of stream footage and filter out like funny moments. But I, I want to be able to someday make a video like that that's just like a compilation of funny moments from a stream that has like really good editing because I definitely don't have the editing skills to do uh, the type of stuff that I'd like to do. I mean... I think we did okay with the uh, albino super rare fallow video. That's like the most editing I've ever done in a video and that took me hours. It's like if I want to do the crazy editing that I really want to, I wouldn't get to upload as much as I do because it would take too long to edit everything. And then there's the other thing, right? Where it's like, I enjoy being the only person that works on my channel. I enjoy being the only person that does all the editing and things. I like having control over what I do and don't put in the videos. I don't even know if I would ever want to have an editor. I don't know. Those are solos, aren't they? Ah, man, I was thinking that they weren't, but seems they are, unfortunately. Okay, I think I got an idea of a buck that we can shoot to get him into our rotation. I think I know of one buck that we can take down. Scarecrow Crow. Am I the Scarecrow Crow? I might be. What's my favorite great one that I've got? Honestly, it's probably the one that I got last night. It's just so insane. You don't shoot solos? No, I don't. Because solos move around every single time you shoot them. So if I've already got them managed down, I don't want to have to re-manage them, you know? 
because it's just a pain chasing them around. Um, okay, so this one doesn't want to show up. That's unfortunate. Thank you, Jatron. Big boy fours again. So I'm thinking about popping this guy right here. But I need to see how big his herd is because I don't want to shoot it down to too few. But if I can get another buck into the rotation and it's in like one of the main zones, that would be amazing. Because then I could just shoot any buck that shows up in the main zones. It doesn't look like that buck has left any tracks. Yeah, nothing is popping up red. Big boy four there. All of them seem to be in herds of five, though. Super, thank you so much for the five gifted memberships. Holy! Congrats to uh, Robert, Camden, uh, my angel, uh, Tristan, and TTK. Y'all just got gifted all those memberships. Congrats. Enjoy it. Enjoy all the uh, sweet, sweet perks that come with them. Yes, Gunner, they do. All of them do now. Oh, hey, we got a buck here for the first time in ages. Beautiful. Oh no, Zach, you rest in pieces, man. 92? I swear to God, if this herd is not here again, that'd be quite unfortunate. This herd has been so stubborn recently. What is wrong with them? They just don't want to show up. Finally. And there's a buck there. There we go. Why don't you just main menu? Because I like to continue the run clear to the end. Otherwise, I end up starting in a place that I normally don't start and hunting pressure gets distributed weird. And sometimes if I don't finish an entire run, I won't get all the respawns back from that previous run. And so it just throws the groove off, you know? It throws off the groove of e the groove of everything. Can we see the great one? Uh, all the great ones are already in my lodge, so... I don't have any on the map at the moment. We've been shooting them on site. Anytime we get one. One here. Two eighteen. Okay, let's uh, let's check out something. Yes, yeah, Aiden, we did get great one number five last night. Let's run over here. Because I know there's one three over here that's not super small yet. Might implement him into it.
Uh, not that we've been able to, like, prove, uh, little gamer. How do I manage my solos? Uh, if you want to check out the most recent Great One Fallow Deer video I've got, it has a guide on how to manage the, uh, Fallow Deer. As well as how to grind them without herd management as well. Got a couple there. Okay, those ones don't need to be managed. Yeah, those actually don't. Hey, Luca, how's it going? Got my first great one with only 88 kills. Thanks to your tips. Nice, dude. That's awesome. That's a really fast great one. Like, holy... Like that dude right there, and this one that's next to him, we could potentially manage those down more. They're smaller than the ones over here, or not as small as the ones over there, I mean. thirty-one hundred kills into my first fallow and still no great one. Jeez, man. That's wild. That's rough, dude. That is rough. I don't envy you, that's for sure. I definitely don't. Kenneth, what are you on about, bro? What are you doing? Explain. Please tell me what you're trying to accomplish. I don't even know what you're talking about. <gasps> okay, so... Yeah, he didn't leave any drink zone tracks either. We could pop that three. Potentially. Yes, Ender, it is. It is, uh, frowned upon. By the majority of the community. Out of my seven great one fallow, three are painted spoon. My gosh, dude, that's crazy. Three painted spoon racks, gosh. Jeez. What combo was great one number five? It was a fabled painted big rack. Also known as the typical rack. Definitely thinking about using this zone again. Let's get this over here. We will think about using it again. Not going to shoot it quite yet, but if we keep running into issues with just not getting enough down per run, then we will, uh, we will start to use that zone again. Because, I mean, we did get a great one to spawn there once, so. Might be a zone we'll want to use. Thank you, Hero Blaze. I appreciate that, dude. Nice. Got a couple good ones there. Beautiful. Should you leave level fours on solo zones? I don't recommend it, no. You want to have your level fours in your herds primarily. You want to make sure the solos are at least down to threes. At the very minimum. 
Sky, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Great one. Great. Gosh, I can't speak. Great one number three on my map. That is awesome. Congrats. That is super awesome. What combo did you get this time? Hopefully it was one of the combos you wanted. Thank you, Bobcat. Appreciate it, man. How many kills am I at? We are currently at 72 kills. Hey, Tina, how's it going? Silver spoon? I've got a silver spoon rack. I'd say it's probably the best fur type to get the spoon rack on. I feel like it doesn't look too bad. Thank you, Statler. Let's spot that guy. We're going to keep an eye on him. Potentially add him into the uh, grind as well. Yeah, Mocha Spoon's not bad. Have I stacked great ones? Not with Fallow. I've done it before with other great ones like the Whitetail. Done it with the Whitetail before. Okay, that buck's part of a group of five. We can kill him. Let's get another buck into our rotation. You know what? There's the other buck. 244, man. What was the combo of my last great one? It was a fabled painted with the big typical rack. Really awesome combo. Big fan of it. Albino Banting and Diamond Croc. Nice, dude. What was my first great one? My first great one ever was a Whitetail off of Rancho Del Arroyo. First Fallow ever was a Fabled Golden Spoon Rack. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it, Zacky. Just think of it this way. You could also just go through and literally delete every zone you have. Like, just rip herds apart. That would basically be a reset, but you wouldn't have to reset. Maybe open it up into multiplayer and just let people go crazy. Might do that. Yeah, I'd probably recommend that if you just if you just want to get like a fresh start on your map, essentially, just open it up to multiplayer and go AFK and just let people go ham on it. You'll have so many respawns and like all the zones will be like shuffled around. Herds will be deleted. It'll essentially be like starting over. And if you need to do it a couple times. Just make sure no cheaters get on your map, obviously. If you see a cheater join, kick him immediately. Nice, guy. That's awesome. Congrats. What was your favorite great one? My favorite great one was actually my most recent fallow deer. Absolutely love that thing.
it did not notice that I shot near it. How dare it? Hey, Nate, how's it going, dude? Finally got a piebald gator. I don't know why it took me so long. Jeez, tragic. Yeah, you're you're behind on the uh you're behind on the piebald gator party there. That's for sure. Congrats though, dude. That was a 244. Wow. Holy. Nice that guy. I still don't have one of those. I have a lot of red deer zones and I quit my red deer grind. My map's not very good for fallow, but I want to do a grind. What do I do? Your map should be good for fallow, right? Everybody's map is okay for a species at least. It's just a matter of finding them. Uh, you just got to figure out where they are, dude. Figure out where they are. Ma'am. Why would you do that? Ma'am. Why would you do that? Hunter11, thank you for the uh, super chat, dude. Just got my first time in Axis on Australia. Nice, man. That's awesome. That is pretty sick. Quick main menu before the dough dies. My map sucks for squirrels. I can't seem to find them. Nobody tell him. Nobody tell him. Lucistic hog deer today. Nice. That's awesome as well. Love to see it. Did I even hit the first one vitally? <laughs> yeah, me too, Tragic. I miss it as well. Those were the days. <laughs> oh, that is satisfying. Why was that so satisfying? It just... That just felt good. Just BAM! There he goes. Jeez. That's awesome. So satisfying just pop them like that. You got a troll croc, unfortunate Colton. How many great one fallow do I have? I've got five of them so far. Well, hello there. Is that Mella? No, I think it's chocolate. Yeah, it's chocolate. It's a chocolate. Yeah, just a chocolate. 244 chocolate, though. That's a big chocolate right there. Is that a Mela? CJO 2023. Sounds like CJO for sure. CJO loves to headshot those Melas, you know. Because he thinks they're chocolate fallow deer. Clicking is tough, guys. It's tough. Is that albino Amela? <laughs> Oh, man. If somebody confused an albino fallow deer for a mela, I would definitely be uh, concerned. He also loves to spine shot great ones from 100 now with a crossbow. Oh, gosh, we don't got to we don't got to bring that up. Poor CJO. Poor CJO. 
feel bad for him, man. Holy. Watch the melanistic fallow super rare last night. I'm devastated. Still a cool trophy, but I'm just sad. I need a great one to cheer me up. Dude, that's rough. That is really rough. Botching a super rare. Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Hopefully you'll get another good trophy, you know? Hopefully you will. Let's see. My gosh, Ivan. Remember when I first started the game, I found a pie blacktail feeding, didn't pay much attention to the level, and all accidentally it ran off looking back, it would have been a super rare. That's crazy, dude. That's wild. We're on quite the dry streak of no dimes recently. I mean, it's been like maybe 50 kills since our last diamond. Which I guess isn't like an insane amount. But I mean, we were getting them pretty consistent for a while. Probably just hitting another streak of nothing. Are three is good to leave on solo zones? Yeah, I do that all the time. No zone. What's up with that, man? Nothing in the zone. Maybe it's revving for a great one. Dude, I still can't believe we called that first one. That was insane. Your herds are becoming female? That just means your males are going to other parts of the map. You just got to figure out where the males are going. They've likely joined other herds. How many kills? 89. Oh, hey. Speak of the devil, there he is. Level 5. Right as I'm talking about him. Oh, having three bucks here is going to be awesome. Nice. That's crazy if we can get three of them there. Uh, yes, Ryan. The uh, different ground blinds work the same as a tripod. And it's quicker to get in and out of them. So in some areas, it's actually better to use those than it is to use a uh, tripod. 255. That is a dime. Big boy four there. That could be a really good four there. Like potentially diamond level four. Probably not, but you know, wishful thinking. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's about as close as it can get. 249.44. Wow. Crazy. 0.55 off dime. Not bad for a four. All right, let's check here to make sure we don't have any stragglers over here. I know, right, Zachy? Feels bad, man.
All right, nothing there. Oh, really, Thunder? What do you mean by stragglers? Like ones that kind of strayed off the main path. You know, ones that strayed out of my main zones into other zones. Those would be the stragglers. To be honest, I think the actual, like, definition for, like, straggler is, like, uh, something that falls behind or whatever. Like, they're straggling behind. But, in this case, like, I just use it for ones that have gone off the normal zones. Which, is, I, guess, I guess that's kind of like falling behind. They're falling behind my main route and, like, out of the main path. Big Boy 4 is everywhere, man. This has been a good run for Giant 4s and that 1-5. Two thirty eight, another giant. What's my dream super rare? Man, I don't know. I think I already got one of my dream super rares with this grind. My overall dream is Diamond Melanistic Red Deer, but Diamond Albino Fallow was really close to it, so. But yeah, I'd say Diamond Mellow Red Deer is my dream still. I don't think I'll ever get it, though. The odds of that are so low. Even with HM, getting a Diamond Mellow Red Deer is very rare. Ninety-seven kills. It's to get them out of the spook state, uh, noodleless or noodle noodles. Is it noodles or noodleless? Well, either way, it is to get them out of that spook state. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the? Go over there. Excuse me. And why were they running? <laughs> yeah, Ben. <laughs> that that is yep, that's literally what Caitlin would say, probably. Nice, Sari. Yeah, that's uh that's a great one for sure. That is definitely a good one. Oh, really, Drippy? Yeah, that does not surprise me one bit. I told you guys last night that he was probably seeking attention. Nobody goes to a creator's stream and calls them a cheater if they're not after attention. Not to mention the other stuff he was saying. I had a feeling that he was just seeking attention as much as he could. Which is why we just ignore those people for the most part. Because I don't like Twitch uh, dribbles. Not a fan of Twitch. Not a fan of the moves they've made. And most of the people that watch Call of the Wild watch it on YouTube instead of Twitch. Twitch is... Does not have as large of a Call of the Wild player base. Or a viewer base, I guess. Or roast him like a marshmallow. 
Yes. Only if you've got a good comeback, though, right? That's the thing, right? You can't just roast everybody that talks bad about you. You gotta make sure you have such a good roast that they can't possibly out-roast you. Because if you come back with- if you come through with like a very mediocre roast, you're just gonna get roasted back probably better. But you definitely don't want to roast everybody that's hating on you. You gotta pick and choose your battles, you know? That's just the smart way to do it. In most cases, it's best to just ignore the trolls. Just ignore the people that troll and say bad things about you. But on rare occasions, if you've got such a solid roast that nobody could possibly beat you, go for it. But you gotta make sure that it's worthy. What the? Ma'am? Um... Hello? <laughs> okay then. Um interesting dough. We're going to move along. She looks sad maybe it was her husband. It could have been. Could have been. What's the point of photos? Uh thumbnail purposes. Never know when I'll need it for a thumbnail. So I try to take every opportunity I can to get as many, like, screenshots as possible. Never know when I might need it for, like, a stream thumbnail or a video. You never quite know. Now, I don't want to shoot her because I don't want to make a new herd appear. Shooting too many does can make them just create a brand new herd and take some of your bucks from your main zones to make that herd. So, yeah, don't shoot them if you don't have to. It's okay to occasionally shoot a doe, but I don't recommend doing it often. In my experience, like, there seems to be like a one in five chance that, that doe's not going to come back and that it'll just make a new herd with a few other does you've killed. Yeah, true, Ben, true. Definitely. You know what I've got is my computer wallpaper? Just a blank black screen because it's too bright at nighttime if it's anything else. When I'm up late, like editing and stuff, I don't want a bright background on my monitor. I need something that's dark so that I can not blind myself. I was here for 300. No. No. <laughs> oh, well. Mine is two, Jenny. Mine is two. Okay, the other herd did not show up. Hill count, 106. 
How do you access the photos in game? If you're on PC, it'll be in one of your Steam folders. Um, it's hard to explain exactly where you need to go. You should be able to just Google it. Um, another way to find it is to go to your like actual Steam list of games, right? The actual games list in Steam. Click on Call of the Wild. Scroll down till you see the screenshots on the right side of the uh, of the page. There should be a a button to view all screenshots, and then just find the one that says Show in Folder. That's the quick rundown of it, at least. What about PS4? Can't view them on PS4, I don't think. No. The in-game camera, like the screenshots you take with that, it only works on PC. It doesn't save them anywhere else. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? Yeah, Ben. You know what I'm hoping, Ben? I'm hoping you don't have to go to 4K. I'm hoping you get it before then. I'm hoping you'll get it before you hit 4K. Because that's an absurd amount of kills for a great one. When did you get the 43rd great one? We got it last night, Eli. One of my dream combos as well. Just an absolutely stunning beast of a buck. What has been my shortest fallow grind so far? Uh, 349 kills. You know what's crazy? I know at least 20 people throughout the community that have had shorter grinds than that. Probably 30 plus even. There's been at least 20 or 30 people that have posted grinds in the uh, Discord that have got it sub 350. That's just crazy. Valor is so kind to so many people. But the people they're not kind, they're extra not kind to. Oh, really, Ben? That's hilarious. That is hilarious. What a way to do it. Oh! Oh, that's Piebald! Oh my gosh, look at him! That's a pretty Piebald! I didn't know it was Piebald at first because the bushes were in the way. That is pretty, man. Wow, that is an awesome looking pie. But, whoa, I just realized there's four bucks here as well. Oh my gosh, there's four deers in that zone alone. Deers? Deers? What am I saying? Deer. Four deer. That's crazy. I think it's because I was thinking deer and bucks at the same time, so I said deers. Got those deers over there, I tell you what. Oh, man. Crazy. Crazy. Look at that, though. That is a beautiful piebald. That's the best piebald I've got so far, I think. I don't know if it's my highest scoring, but it's definitely the best because of the pattern itself. It's definitely my biggest of this pattern, and it's my favorite pattern. That's awesome. It's a good little pie right there. That is super sick. Holy man. Save that replay. And we got a big boy five over here. Dude, there was five bucks at these two zones. That's crazy. I think we made the right decision shooting that buck that was right here. That extra two. I think we made the right decision, man. Definitely opened up the amount of deer we're getting here. Definitely increased it a good bit.
When's my next stream? My next stream is actually going to be in like 40 minutes. And it's going to be on my second channel. So if you guys have not already, be sure to sub to the second channel. It's called Scarecrow Uncut. One of the mods or members can put it in chat for you guys. We're going to be streaming Ground Branch with Brobra. It's like a tactical first person shooter. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Definitely recommend checking it out if you guys haven't already. And there we go. Another diamond. Beautiful. That's five, six, seven, seven deer so far. Decent run. You wouldn't send? Get wrecked, Zaki. Get wrecked. You know what they say? Get good, nerd. There's number eight for this run. Nine? My gosh, this is going to be an insane run for kill count. That's our ninth buck this run. Holy. No, I shoot whatever's in my main zones. Doesn't matter how many is there. They swap from zone to zone, so it's going to be different every time. Hey, Nicholas, how's it going, man? Yesterday, the double leg out of six zones, I shot 12. In one run, got almost 26. That's crazy. That's a lot of fallow. That's a lot of fallow. This is going to be 10 and 11. 10? 11. That is the most we've killed in a run in a little bit. You got to celebrate the 3,000th diamond? Maybe. Maybe we will. I'll probably do like a YouTube short relating to it, like my first diamond versus my 3,000th diamond. From what I've seen, people really like those comparison shorts when it's like my first great one versus my 43rd great one or my first diamond versus my 2000th great one. I've noticed that those shorts always do really well. I guess people really enjoy watching stuff like that. Seeing like a comparison of like where I started versus where I am now. Ooh, look at him. That's a four, really? Holy, that's a four. He looked so tall at first. Some of these fours just look huge, man. I love the giant fours ever since they tweaked the fallow deer. Super, thank you for upgrading to the Super Crow membership. You know, it's fitting with your name. It's fitting. Super at the Super Crow. Thank you so much, dude. Boom. Had to do it just made sense. That's what I was thinking. No, I don't think I did, Caden. Nobody else mentioned it, so I'm assuming I didn't. This zone has been pretty insane, so let's hope we've got a bunch more deer here. No? Alright. 
Let's do that again. Come on! Oh, hey! Guaranteed dime. What do you know? That's a white diamond, I think. You'll love to see it. How many bucks? One, two, three. Okay, we got three here. Okay, down he goes. I like that zone so much. My gosh. Such a good zone, man. Such a good zone. 261 mid rack white diamond. That's actually pretty awesome looking. I think that one's worth taxing, to be honest. That's a good looking fallow. So beautiful. Alrighty. Now let's grab these right here. 17, nothing over there. You have only four females in your zone? Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. It happens throughout this grind, though. I've lost a few zones uh, to becoming just female zones, unfortunately. What time is it for me? Uh, 7.27 p.m. We're actually probably not going to be live with Call of the Wild for too much longer because I got to start up a stream at 8 o'clock with Brobra and um, potentially Kevin. I'm not 100% sure if he's going to make it or not, but if he does, then he'll be there as well. We're going to be doing Ground Branch on the second channel, so if you haven't already subbed to the second channel. Going to be a fun time. Usually a lot of funny stuff happens during those streams. You know, a lot of sacrificing Brobra to keep myself alive. <laughs> you know, the usual stuff. <laughs> the typical things. Okay, nothing there. You know what zone I really want to get a great one in? This zone right here. This zone would be such a cool one to just roll up over the hill and see a great one just sitting in the zone. Man, I was hoping there would be a great one when I said that. Could you imagine if we had that good of timing? That would have been hilarious. Nice, Cole. I was expecting it. I know. I'm I, I'm just hoping I can speak some stuff into existence like I did the first one. That was hilarious how he spoke that first one into existence. Uh, Blade, thank you for the super chat, dude. Recommended map for Whitetail Grind. Uh, Layton's my favorite, but a lot of people like Rev. Either are great, depending on what you prefer. I'd say, I'd say go with one of those. And Talus, thank you for the super chat as well. Congrats on 120k subs. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. See where we're at right now. We're currently at 120,822. Oh, yes, oh my God. What did I watch? That turkey was on top of... Turkey was on that fallow deer. I'm a little concerned, not gonna lie. No, Mitch, I haven't. Or Mitch O's, I have not. Never played with him before.
Is this grind number five? No, this is grind number six. We completed grind number five yesterday. Boom. Which great one, uh, Andrew? I don't know if DD's done any great one grinds recently. I don't really watch Call of the Wild content that much. The only great one I remember from him was his Whitetail. And he was just shooting Whitetail on Rancho. Same way that all of us do it, you know, just shooting animals on the map. Been so long that I don't remember the fine details of his grind, though. Lay, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, extra Discord channel, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much. Couple bucks there. Boom. Um, I've botched a great one in a different way, Fabs. I had one where the shot would have been good if I had waited a little bit longer. I had a great one whitetail where I was taking it with the bow. The shot looked really good, but it put its head down right as I took the shot. And because of that, I ended up hitting spine on it. <laughs> yeah, Ben. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. I was like, autocorrect definitely happened there. Which is why I still responded to it because I knew it was probably an autocorrect issue. Autocorrect be doing some wild things, man. Autocorrect uh, <laughs> takes no prisoners. It's just, it just goes straight in for the kill. And no, Mentalis, uh, Streamlabs doesn't update it to the exact count. It updates it based on how many subs you have. So if I have less than 10,000 subs, actually, I think it's if I have less than 1,000 subs, it gets the count perfect. If I have less than 100K, it counts it in like 0.1s, right? So like 10.1, 10.2, 10 10.3,000, 10 etc. When you get to 100k, it updates every 1,000. So I have to hit 121k before that count will update. It's just the way YouTube counts it on their platform, uh, which makes it so that Streamlabs has to count it that way as well. The only way that I could get it to count to the exact number is if I took it from my analytics page. And I just don't like the way that looks. So I don't do that. Which, that's more of just a personal preference thing. Also, how you doing, Mentalis? Hope you're doing good. When did I start YouTube? Technically, I started YouTube when I was 14. But I was kind of just uploading random crap with my friends, not really expecting it to do great. Just having fun as a kid, you know? And then back in 2020, when I had nothing to do but sit around because of being locked inside all day because of the whole pandemic thing. That's when I started trying to build up the channel off of Call of the Wild. So technically, I consider 2020 to be when I started my channel. Even though I technically did stuff on YouTube before then, I didn't really do it seriously to try and like actually expand and grow the channel until 2020. That was when I actually started really taking it seriously and trying to turn it into something. And then you guys know everything that happened after that.
Exactly, Andrew, exactly. Yeah, Mitch, it was I did. I've played it ever since release. A little bit before release, actually, because I uh, entered my email for a chance to get a the ability to play the beta, and I ended up getting it, so... I played it a little bit before release, like by a month or two. Back in December of 2016. Fun times, man. And boom. Nice, Nissa. Nice. Yeah, me too, Preston. I don't know what's holding up ultimate hunting so much. I'm assuming they just want to make sure it's perfect. Which I get that, you know. But I'm definitely itching to play the game. I really want to see if they uh, can do something good out of it. A little bit unimpressed with the lion main models in Way of the Hunter. Yeah, I was a little bit concerned about that as well. Because I think they did everything else really well from that trailer. But yeah, I could see the lion mains maybe being a bit weird. Not gonna lie though, I can't really make a full judgment or decision on whether I like it. I got, gosh, we got four here again. Until I actually get to play it. Once I get to play it, then I'll be able to really decide what I think on things. As with anything, I try to wait till I've actually played it to fully judge it. <laughs> oh my gosh, those shots were nasty. I hit every single one of those. I can't believe that. Wow. Those were some nutty shots, man. That was crazy. Ooh, hello there, little chocolate. My gosh, man. That was a crazy little shot. That's definitely clip worthy. <laughs> Wasn't that just albino? No, that was a white variation. Five bucks from these two zones. Ah, oh, things are getting good, man. Connor, thank you for the super chat, dude. Bro, I love your last video. Can I make another one of those, but use a different handgun? Yeah, maybe one of these days. I've had a lot of requests to do other stuff with the Glock as well, so I don't know what we'll do first. But definitely more vids like that in the future. I enjoy it. It seems like you guys enjoyed it as well. An insane shot montage? That'd be kind of crazy. Thing is, I haven't like... I don't know what all my most insane shots ever were. What's your opinion on trading? Do you think it's cheating? Just wondering. Yes, I don't like trading in Call of the Wild. I don't. <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. I don't think it's good for the game. I think it... You know how some people talk about HM devaluing trophies? In my opinion, trading devalues trophies way more because you're not just working on your map to get better trophies, right? You're literally duplicating trophies when you trade. And it makes rare trophies just become not special because they've been duplicated a hundred times so no I I don't like it I think it is cheating there's a reason that it's frowned upon by the community but the developers are all for HM because HM is still playing the game trading is just fast tracking your way to a trophy that somebody else did all the work for I don't like it at all Partially because it's completely ruined. Um, it's completely ruined 
the fabled piebald, right? Because people have duped that thing so much. To the point where when somebody posts a fabled piebald, the amount of skeptical, like, the amount of skepticism that has to come out because of how much those have been duplicated on console just kind of has ruined the integrity of that trophy. So no, I'm very against it. Yeah, exactly, Ben. There are definitely people that pay real money for them as well. Which I feel is kind of sad. I just couldn't imagine paying money for somebody to let you on their map to shoot a trophy. Instead of, like, just playing the game. Like, what is the point in playing Call of the Wild if you aren't, like... Hunting for the trophies yourself? Like, that's the whole thing that makes the game exciting for me. Is finding those trophies. Oh yeah, I know Supreme Content. It's practically the exact opposite of what we do in Call of the Wild, right? Like in Call of the Wild, you stack low levels and kill all the good ones to get your map to be better. But in real life, you cull out the bad genetics to leave the better genetics animals so that they can produce better genetics uh, trophies in the future. So yeah, it is the thing in real life. It's basically the opposite of what Call of the Wild has, though. Way of the Hunter has, like, a more realistic version of it, which is pretty cool. There we go. Smoked him. I was 34. No, I'm not 34, TTK. I didn't do a face cam recently, Bobcat. It's been like six plus months since I've done anything like that. And I think it was for literally two videos. Yes, I'm 25. I mean, Statler, you should have known the answer wouldn't be 15. I've got a wife and daughter. <laughs> He turns 35 next week. Wow, Ben. You calling me old, man? I feel like you're calling me old. I feel like you're calling me old, dude. I don't know how to feel about that. Twenty-five is old now. No, no. Ben was saying that I that I'm that I'm thirty-five. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine, Caden? No way. <laughs> Brober just got a diamond croc. Of course he did. Of course he did. Of course Brober did. Brober always gets the good trophies. Man. Okay, where's the other herd? Come on. Give us the goods, little feller. Really? Bro, this herd is trying to break the bank. Does YouTube have a raid feature? It does, but it's not very good. YouTube's version of raiding is very, like, convoluted, essentially. It's weird. Okay, I'm not even going to try to get this other herd here. They clearly don't want to show up. Okay, later, Ben. Thank you for dropping in, man. Unfortunate deer hunter. Just keep going, man. You'll get it eventually. Everybody's grind is a little bit different. <laughs> That's just how it be, Fabs. 
Hey, if the homies don't make fun of you and call you old and stuff, then are they really your homies, you know? And that's the way I see it, right? Like, for example, I'm sure some of you, especially the people that have been with the channel for a while, I'm sure a lot of you that have been here a while know who Hollow Crow is. We've played games with Hollow Crow before. Hey, look, it's one of those weird looking level fours. But like, if Hollow Crow stopped making fun of me, I'd be concerned. I'd be like, are you okay? <laughs> if there's a day where Hollow Crow isn't making fun of me, it's a weird day. It feels like something's not right. Same with my friend John. Like, if there was a day where he wasn't, like, taking subtle shots at me here and there, while I'm taking subtle shots back, I'd be concerned. I'd be like, are you okay? And that's how I know when something's wrong. If your, fr if your close friends stop joking around with you and making fun of you, at least in my case, with my friends, then, you know, that's a cause for concern. Robra forgot to tax the croc. Serves him right for getting more diamond crocs than me. Absolutely wrecked, Brora. What the? You're a, you're a squished dude too. Not as bad, but still. Or is it? Is that a squishy boy? I don't know. I don't know if that's a squishy boy there or not. No, sir. Thank you so much, dude, for the super chat. First great one on the map. Nice, dude. That's amazing. Congrats, man. Love to see it. Is that squished? Oh, kind of, yeah. Oh my gosh. Kind of a weird deer. I like it, though. One eighty-one. All right, everybody. That's gonna be it for this stream. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually, you know what? Do you guys, do we want to try and raid Brobra? Should we raid Brobra? I think we should raid Brobra. Let's break his chat. So I'm gonna go ahead and send you guys over to Brobra. And then uh, we're gonna start up the stream on the second channel after. But let, let's make Brobra's day. Let's go raid him. Let's see if I can find his stream. Here we go. Wow! Redirect privilege is needed. Ah. Bro! Okay, somebody go to Brobra's stream and tell him to add me to the redirect list in the community settings. He has to go to his community settings and add me to the redirect list. I can't send anybody over to him until he adds me to the redirect list. <laughs> Gosh, freaking Brobra. What a nerd. It used to be that like you just had to sub to the person, right? And as long as you were sub to each other, it would let you redirect, but apparently not anymore. Freaking bro, bro. What a nerd. I know, right, Fabs? That's what I'm thinking. I need him to, like, approve me as a person that can redirect to him. We're going up on the uh, second channel shortly, Tristan. I'm not ending for the night. I'm going to the second channel. 
So if you haven't already, click the link in the chat and sub to the second channel. I'm going to be going live there shortly to join Brobra. Yeah, I still can't redirect to Brobra. Okay, since I can't get it to work, guys, I'm just going to post the link in chat to Brober's channel. Go check out Brobra. Go tell Brobra Crow sent you. And also, tell him, turn on redirect for Crow. Approve Crow is someone who can redirect. <laughs> but anyway, guys. I'll see y'all in a bit on the second channel. Peace.